Hi everyone, this is Vikas Bagheer, a software engineer at Google and welcome back to my YouTube channel VB Codes. Earlier, I posted a video sharing my journey to Google and how I prepare for it. But this video is going to be a different one where I will be sharing my rejection stories. Usually, people only share their success but I think you can learn more from failures. In this video, I will be explaining in detail the whole interview process of Microsoft and Uber how many rounds are there, what type of questions are asked, and why I was rejected. Do watch the video to learn to know how to handle any kind of rejection. So without any further ado, let's start. But before that, if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And if you find the video motivating enough, hit that like button and share the video with your friends and family. So grab some popcorn, sit back and enjoy. My first rejection experience is about Microsoft where I applied for internship in August 2019. Microsoft came to a college and was open for all secretary branches and had a cutoff of 7.5 CPI. So all you need was a CPI greater than 7.5 and you were eligible for the test. The first round was an online assessment exam which consisted of three problems. I would say the problems were not that hard and were like medium level uh, lead code problems. Also, everyone was given a different set of problems, but most of them were around binary trees and linked list. I do remember the linked list problem. It was similar to the problem where we have to reverse the elements of a linked list in group of K. It is a standard problem in linked list and I was able to solve it in time. If you want to know what are the standard problems in DSA, you can check out my video where I share the best resources for every topic in DSA and you will find the link somewhere here. The next problem was in binary tree, which was also an easy one. So I was able to solve all three problems before time and was selected for the next round. Microsoft next round is known as fly around where all those who qualified the first round will sit in a room and engineers from Microsoft will either write or project the problems on board. There were two problems and we were given one hour to solve them. But the catch here is we have to write the solution on pen and paper and were not allowed to use any kind of library. So I would suggest to write a neat and tidy solution mentioning all the corner cases along with your input and output very clearly. Around 30 students were selected for the next round and I was one of them. I was pretty confident at that time because I was well prepared and was hoping to clear at least first round of the interviews. So I went into the room, the interviewer was already there. He asked me some basic introductory questions and then explained the problem to me. I don't exactly remember what problem was, but it was something like we have to print all the nodes which are at a distance of K from a given node. I know it is a very easy problem and I should have been able to solve it on time but let me share the mistakes that I made due to which I was not able to complete it on time. My mistake was that I pre-assumed certain things and did not clear them up with the interviewer. Like I assumed that we were given an anary tree but actually it was just a binary tree. After taking a lot of time and thinking about the solution, when I finally discussed my approach with the interviewer, he told me that we only have to find a solution for binary tree which hugely simplifies the solution. So a lot of my time was wasted uh, due to unnecessary assuming certain things. Another mistake that I made was assuming the input can be any node, but actually we have to find all the nodes at a distance K from the root node only. So as I was assuming any node input, I had to think of how to store the tree because we might also have to traverse in the upward direction. But when few minutes were left, I realized that we have to find solution only for the root node. Uh, then it becomes a very simple problem, but I was not able to solve it on time because at that time I became very nervous and was not thinking straight. So ultimately I was not able to complete the problem. Obviously I was not selected for the next rounds. The next company that visited our campus was Uber and it was open for all the branches and it had no cut off CPI which means that everyone was eligible to sit for the online assessment exam. The online test consisted of three problems and unlike Microsoft, they were very, very, very difficult. I was only able to solve one problem 
and partially completed the other two problems. Uh, at that time, I thought it was a very bad score and I was very sure that I will not get selected for the interview. After a few days, list of selected students came and only 6 to 7 students were selected from all the branches. Most of the students were from CSE branch and I was the only one selected from my class. Uber is known to select students from CSE branch so literally I was shocked that my name was on the list. I prepared for the interviews and was constantly reminding myself to not commit the same mistake that I did during the Microsoft interview and as it was my second face-to-face -face, uh, interview after Microsoft so definitely I was nervous and was continuously preparing for the interview. My first round started and the interviewer told me that we will have 45 minutes and he will ask two questions and I have to write the code on their platform and the code should compile and the test cases should pass. So the first question was that we are given a stream of binary number and we have to tell the number formed till the time whether it's divisible by n or not. So first I explained him a brute force solution and then discussed with him why this brute force solution will fail due to integer overflowing. After some thinking, I was able to find the optimal solution and was able to code it on time. The next question he asked me was to implement the all tab functionality in our computers. Uh, after some thinking, it boiled down to LRU cache implementation, which I was able to code on time. Then he asked me to add some more functionality to it, uh, which also I was able to solve. After this interview, I was a bit relaxed. Uh, because I was able to solve both the problems on time and the interviewer was also looking impressed so I was kind of sure that I will qualify for the next round so for the next round the pattern was similar that is 45 minutes, 2 questions I write the problems on their platform and the code should compile and pass the test cases the first problem was on the vertex cover which is a standard problem in dynamic programming and it also includes the concepts of binary tree I was able to explain my approach to the interviewer and code it or uh, the code the solution on time but when i ran the test cases i was getting wrong output i was very confused at that time because i was sure that my approach was correct so i kept on debugging my code trying to find what mistake uh, that i made uh, but unfortunately i wasn't able to find the bug so the interviewer told me that we can move on to the next problem and we can revisit it uh, later on so the next problem was that we are given a tree and for every node, we have to find all the nodes that we can visit. It's a very simple DFS problem. Just construct a graph and apply DFS on every node. But because the previous problem was based on binary tree, I kept on constructing tree instead of graph. And because of this, I wasn't able to find the correct approach and was not able to code the solution on time. Just after the, when the interview was over, I realized that for the first problem, that is the vertex cover, uh, my solution was right, but I was giving wrong input. So that is why I was getting an unexpected output. Uh, because of this mistake, a lot of my time was wasted and I was not able to fully concentrate on the second problem. Um, after this round, we were supposed to have HR round, but unfortunately, I was not selected for it. So what are the key takeaways from these experiences? Number one, I was not asking enough questions and was assuming many things which left me overcomplicating a simple problem. Should always ask questions before assuming anything so you and the recruiter are on the same page. Another important lesson is to not straight away start thinking of an optimal solution. I was so engrossed in finding the best solution with least time complexity and with minimum space complexity that I was not able to complete the solution in time. So you should always start with basic approach and then try to optimize it. So even if you are not able to optimize it on time, you still have a working solution. And finally, even if you are not able to solve the first problem, you should not get nervous. Just relax, don't lose hope and start approaching the other problem with a fresh mind. This is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you liked it, hit that like and subscribe button and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comment section. I will be sharing more of my rejection stories and what I learned from them. I hope you guys will enjoy it, feel motivated and learn from my mistake. I will see you really soon in the next video. 
Till then, take care and have a great week ahead. This is Vikas Bagheer signing off.